Hi, my name is Mr. Curley, and um, <clears throat> here's something you can do during the COVID pandemic that'll keep you occupied. And that's learning to play the violin. Now you're saying to yourself, well, I know I'll never play the violin. Well, the hardest part of playing the violin is getting sound out of this. Well, uh, this part with your fingers is not that bad. It's not that hard. Um, the first thing is how to hold it. Okay, so you hold it like that, and then you turn it around and put it like that with your chin on the chin rest and the violin pointing that way. Now it's kind of hard on the collarbone, so what I'm using here is a tea towel folded up, and I'll just rest the tea towel on my shoulder, and that helps a lot. Okay. I'm going to be working from this book by Frank Zucca. Yeah, Mel Bay sells it, the Mel Bay Company. Okay, it's called Violin Method. And what I like about it is it's step by step. It's it's um, it doesn't show you something simple and then all of a sudden jump to something really hard. So um, one of the first things he talks about is how to hold the bow and you have all four fingers on one side of the bow and then your thumb is in the little round part there's a little round part on the bow well your thumb it's tricky here your thumb goes in that round part and with your little finger just touching the side of the uh, metal part at the bottom you can pretty well put that bow anywhere you want to put it so <clears throat> let's try it now I got this violin from Long and McQuaid and it's a rental. I think it's about 20 bucks a month. So that's good because that means you can find out at the end of the month whether or not you want to keep going and buy a violin because it's it's quite an investment to get a good one. This one here is a Stentner and it's uh, about $300. So you don't want one of these cheap $100 Chinese ones because they have problems. Okay, so um, where should we begin? We know how to hold the bow, we know how to hold the violin. Oh, this hand. This hand should be out like that, not like this. Okay, not resting like this. It should be down like that so your fingers can touch the strings straight up and down, what they call perpendicular. Okay. Now the names of the strings, the first one is E, second one is A, third one is D, and the bottom one is G. I didn't talk about rosin, but the rosin is the, um, comes in a little container like this, and it makes the bow, uh, bite, what they call bite the string. If you don't have rosin on your bow, it, it just slips and slides. So here's a piece of rosin. These actually come from trees, pine trees, pine gum. And you rub some of that on your bow up and down. And then it works good. Okay. So let's try couple of notes, a couple of strings out of here. Um, <clears throat> now the first actual tune he does is Eau Claire de la Lune. That's a French song. It means by the light of the moon. And uh, it's on page 14. 
It starts on the A string, second string over. It's all on one string. It's all on the A string. So get nice clear tone there. And um, if you tilt the bow a little bit towards you, it, it's a stronger tone. By tilting, I mean tilt, like turn it around, rotate it a bit. So you've got the bow straight, straight across, right? 90 degrees. If you don't do that, it squeaks. We don't want that. So just hitting it open with no fingers, that's an A on the second string. And we do three A's. And then a B, that's our first finger on B. And then second finger on C sharp. And then we go back to the B, that's first finger. And then there's a skip. You go from open to C sharp. So it's open to second finger. And then first finger, two of those, and then open again. Okay. Just try that on your own. For a second, I'll wait for you. Okay, let's do it together. Ready, set, go. Again. Just trying to get nice, clean, clear notes. Um, that's going to take some practice. I, don't be upset that you don't sound like me right now. Okay. Um, this is these are new pathways for your brain, and your brain's not used to this. So you have to train your brain, train your brain to do this. It's a lot to remember, all those steps. But it's like riding a bike, you know, once you keep doing it, practicing, then your memory, your muscle memory takes over. And then you don't even have to think about it. Let's try it on the E string. And to get the E string, you have to bring your bow down this way, right? That's why this is shaped like that here. So the bow can go down in there and play the E string. Now you might want to play that softer because that's actually not that pleasant to listen to, is it? It's kind of shrill. So let's not press as hard on the bow. Just let the bow rest on it. Okay, let's try the whole thing together now uh, on the A string and then on the E string. One, two, ready, go.
That was good. You're getting the hang of it. Yeah, you're going to be okay on the fiddle, violin, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's called a violin if you're playing classical or pop music. It's called a fiddle if you're playing fiddle music. Same instrument for both. Uh, let's try a fiddle tune. I'm just going to play this so you can hear how much fun fiddle tunes are. And they're dance. They're for dancing. This is Chase Me Charlie. tricky for me today because my first finger has a big bandage on it. Big band-aid. Yeah, I was slicing an onion. So good, I'm lucky I didn't lose my finger. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I didn't talk about the tuner, but I got this tuner at Long McQuaid too. And um, if you need help tuning, just ask your parents or your mom or your dad, and they, they can use this to make the strings E, A, D, G. Every angry dog growls. Every angry dog growls. Okay, see you next time. Don't forget, our motto is... Don't fret. Don't fret. Don't worry.